our tutorial on how to create a spinner using Onshape. In this tutorial, we'll show you the steps for you to follow. This spinner is created to give people something to do when they bored or nervous. Watch until the end of the video to learn on how to create a spinner using Onshape. This project is called a spinner and viewing the drawing. I can see that it contains circular elements that are all evenly spaced around the center point looking at the elements. I can see that from that center point there is a 15 mm hole surrounding by a 30 mm circular part of solid material. There are three outside elements consisting of a 30 inch diameter round circular section at a 20 mm hole. Now, this outer section are evenly divided around a 50 mm diameter circle. So now, let's start our tutorial. This project is called the Spinner. So first, open the Onshape account, then click the Create, and then Document, then type the Spinner, and then click Create. I'm going to start by changing the workspace units and changing the inches into millimeters. I'll sketch in the top work area and then view normal to the sketch area. I'm going to use the origin as my center point, so I'll use some center point circles. Starting with the hole in the middle, I'm going to make the first circle coincident to the region of my sketch area and set the diameter at 15. Another circle concentric to that using this, using the same origin point and this will be set at 30. Now I know that the other section are in a circular array that is a 50 millimeter circle so half of that would be 25. I'm going to use a line and make this a construction line starting from the origin coincident and, and I'm going to fold this straight down. And create this construction line and then dimension this at 25 millimeters And then, I'm going to use the end point of that construction line for my outer circles. So again, I'll use a center point circle from the end point of the line. Coincident, and I have a 30 millimeter outer circle. And a 20 millimeter in a circle So with this information, 
I know that this outer circle is going to be in a padded circle pattern around the outside to create this pattern. I'll use the pattern tool bar using a circular pattern. The first step is to choose the elements that we want to include in our pattern. You can set the number of elements that will be repeated in the angle around which they will be evenly divided. Right now, we choose sing 360 if the if you drag the indicator here the arrow you can change the amount of degrees also it's automatically chosen the center point to be the center of our pattern based on that construction line if i want this to be fully defined i can use a fix I'm going to fix the center of this circle to the sketch plane and that allows them to be fully defined it. It wouldn't be moved around later. With this, I'm going to complete the sketch. I'll right click and go to isometric view and choose extrude from my feature tools now. I'm going to choose these outside areas as the radius that I want to extrude and it has a depth of 10 millimeters. Hit enter to view that and that looks like the correct pattern that I'm looking for. I'll accept it and now I need to add the fillet in this case I have a millimeter radius fill it And it's going to go on these edges. Where the two circles meet to round out that corner. I will add this one at a time because they're not on a continuous surface tangent propagation want to automatically apply them and with each of those corners chosen i can accept that and and it builds those fillets Last, I have a 1 millimeter fillet that goes on all of the edges. In this case, I'll choose fill it. I'm going to change the radius to 1. I'm going to make sure that tangent propagation is turned on base because 
I'm going to use a window to choose all of these edges rather than fit, fit them fit them one at a time I'm going to go left to right hold the mouse button down create a window which shows us all the all of those outside surface and tangent propagation make sure that they are all continuously fit fill it and with that I finish my spinner so that it's for today's tutorial we hope you learn to create a spinner using Onshape. If you want another tutorial, just let us know and we'll try our best to make it for you guys. Thank you for watching and we do hope that you like our tutorial.